Hi everyone, welcome back to Riker Rides, your station for everything Riker. So thank you so much for your subscriptions, subbing and watching and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate you and let's get started. Today's modification um, or add-on, we're going to add a second seat, a two up. So let me show you uh, what we're working with here. I'm going to add a second seat to this area. Right now I have the one up passenger backrest. So I'm trying to figure out, because everything is so expensive, I'm trying to figure out if the passenger seat also gives you back support. Because if it does, I may not need these extra $200 accessory for the backrest. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to sit on it and take a quick picture or video of me sitting on it with the backrest. And then I'm going to take the backrest off and then add the second seat. I think you can have both and I'll also put that in to see if they both work together. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and I buy, my new thing is now, I used to buy from Can-Am directly. I used to either go to um, where I bought my bike at um, Riviera um, Motorsports, Power Sports in Pompano. But anyway, um, I now buy everything from Amazon. So, and the reason being is you can return it if it doesn't work, if you're having trouble installing it, for whatever reason you can always return it. Whereas if you're buying it directly from Can-Am, a lot of things are non-returnable and also a lot of things they charge you 20% restocking fee. So only because of that I buy from Amazon, it's delivered to my house. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep this and the backrest, which I'm hoping not because it gets expensive, or if I can get rid of the backrest and only use the passenger seats as my backrest. So I'm going to go in here and there's that little lever. If you remember me installing this, there's a little lever inside here. I don't know if you're able to zoom in on that. So there's a little lever and I'm, you just pull the lever, pops right off, and then this pops right off. So this is super easy on off accessory. So now I'm going to walk you guys over to first of all I want to give a shout out to my camera girl Tina my bestie say hi Tina Hi. she's helping me video today um, and which is so helpful instead of using my tripod so here's how the box comes from Amazon for the backrest I opened it just to not see you see me struggling opening a box and I'm just going to take everything out that I need push this stuff over a little bit so here's exactly how it comes. So it comes with your, all these bolts that you need for the different, different lengths. I'll just take them all out. And your footrest for the passenger. The bracket that goes in back. Before I forget, when you have a, let me show you because I know I'm going to forget this later. If you come around here on this side, the spring here will need to get adjusted with a, a passenger seat or any kind of weight back here. So I do not have this tool, so I'm either going to, need to invest in it um, or bring it in. There's a special tool that you put on this thing right here um, that you are able to turn this to make the springs either tighter or looser. So you need to get this adjusted if you're going to have a passenger on your bike. So in case I forget to tell you, that will need to get adjusted. So uh, I'm either going to grab that tool um, on Amazon or I'm just going to have someone do it uh, for me. Okay. Let's finish the unwrapping. And here is the second footrest. A foot peg. And then the seat. And make sure the box is empty. All right, anytime you buy any kind of Can Am product, this is your directions that you get. It is not a directions, it sends you to www.instructions.brp.com. And I will, I'll put that website in the link below, in the de, I'm sorry, in the, I'll put the link in the description or comment section below so you'll have it. 
Um, I'm a visual learner, so it helps me to kind of watch someone else doing it. So hopefully I can help you with that. But by all means, get on there and check that out as well. All right, so the box is empty. And then the seat. I didn't buy the backrest yet for the seat. Everything is, everything is very um, segmented. Like you, you buy one thing, you can buy another, you can buy this, you can buy that. So I wanted to make sure I even liked how it looked before, before I bought a backrest for my rider. Make sure I actually like how it looks. So um, this is how it's going to go. So I'm wondering if this little nook is enough for me to have back support or if I also need the backrest. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So the first thing we need to do is put this on. All right, so I just use an Allen wrench. I may come through later and tighten it with something. Okay, the first piece that goes on is this bracket. And it goes on in this direction. And it goes inside here, um, inside up here. So it's going to, the bolts are gonna come through here and screw on. So let me, um, Tina, if I can get an assist right here. All right, so All right, I'm going to see if this just kind of goes on with this. Did catch okay all right so I'm just gonna put that on loosely so the it comes with two bolts so this is for the longer bolts go in this these to make sure they reach all the way through and then I'm just using an Allen wrench to tighten them and I'll go through and tighten everything after I'm done after I know everything's all kind of lined up all right I'm gonna go do the same thing on the other side It's actually, so far, a very easy install. Okay, let's put the foot pegs in. This is the left foot peg. Now you're gonna line up these holes with the holes up here. So there's three holes for the screws, for the bolts to go in. So it's one, two, three, and you line it up one, two, three. a little bit of effort there. So this last bolt, obviously you can't put it up unless it's all the way in. And this, I couldn't even get in here. So you have to find one of those free cheap ones that you get when you buy stuff and then try to adjust it that way. And even so, um, it, is, it is really hard to kind of get in there. So Literally, I have to do this like one little thing at a time. I don't have one that's super, super tiny that's that thick. So I'm just going to go through and turn by turn and, and twist this. And that's the only way. I twisted, um, oops, I'm actually twisting it the wrong way. So um, Well, it's a good idea just to put like blue um, painter's tape on it so you don't get these little scuff marks on there. So 
to save time, because I'm almost done with this one, I'm just going to hold a plastic bag over it so I'm not scraping it so much. Oh. Whee! Whew. That took some, some effort. But I definitely need to go through and tighten up the rest, because they should be flush. So I'm going to go through and tighten up the rest of these as well. But let's see how the, the backrest goes on. And then it so this is a very cool system. It's just part of the link system. And this is what's going to lock the seat into place. So you see these right here? They're going to go over these pieces right here to kind of keep it in place. So you put it gently like this. Make it so it's real flush, real back. And now it's in place. And okay, um, that is not going anywhere, which is really cool. Okay, the uh, let's just do a little test to see if there's actually any, which is the main reason for this. Let's do a test to see if it gives me some back support. So maybe I can return the other thing. Okay. It does not give me as much back support as the backrest. The backrest comes further here. This is only good if you're really leaning back like that when you drive, but then I can't really reach my handlebars. So it did not do what I was hoping it would, it would do. Um, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can use this and the backrest together. So I'm going to push to unlock. And this pops right off. Um, all right, so. Let's see if I can use both at the same time. This is also a super easy install. That's how easy that is. Perfect. And let's see if this and this fit together. I can't, I don't, I don't see how that would work together. Um, but unless I'm doing something very wrong, it looks like you can either have the backrest or a passenger, but it does not look like you could have both. Because um, this should be right here, and this is in the way. So uh, maybe, hold on a second. Let's see if I take this off. Uh, no, you can't. I was thinking if I took that off and then added this, let's see if that would go. Ah, it doesn't look like it's going to go. Um, Okay, I'm going to take this off. It doesn't look like it can go together. Um, if somebody has an idea of how that would work, let me know. Because um, basically, this is totally covering that hole. So there's really no way. And then this part 
is what locks into, um, so the part that's pushing down in here to lock in place is the same part as this. So they are not interchangeable. I mean, sorry, they are interchangeable, but you can't use both. So basically you need to decide if you want a passenger or a backrest. Um, I really wanted this to work. But if you see, there's, there's just too much of a difference there. Um, I'm going to sit on it one more time and get a close-up of the distance of my back. So you kind of see how I sit like this when I'm riding. Maybe like this. So I'm not, I don't know if you can see, Tina, but I'm just not quite reaching the backrest. How do you unlock it? Ah, oh, that's how you unlock it. To unlock the bike, you push underneath and it pops right up. Okay. For those of you who wanted me to wrap this, this is the exact reason why I didn't wrap it, because it would be all scratched up. Um, so now let's put this on real quick. So you can um, see the difference. I don't even need to put that on. Okay. Oh, yeah. It is no yeah, different, yeah. So, okay, there's a lot more. As you can see, there's a, it's a lot better for me to have this on there. So I need to decide if I want to keep um, the backrest, if I have any friends, Tina, that will ride with me. But most will not, surprisingly. I don't know why. I think they've seen my video of going 106 miles an hour. Um, so I need to decide what I want to keep. Most likely it'll be the backrest. Um, I think my, uh, my spending is, is coming to an end in terms of all the add-ons. They're all just so expensive. So I don't know if I want to keep the back, the um, second seater, if I'm not really going to be having that many riders. Um, so I'm probably going to just keep it like this and buy a little tiny storage bag for this, and then that's it. Uh, now that the install is done, I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch things out. So this is how I'm going to be riding most of the time with the backrest, because I swear by this thing. It is amazing, the one-up backrest. And then when I want to have a passenger, which is very infrequent for me, um, I'm going to show you how quick it is to take everything off and swap it. It's, it's a very cool system. So you pull this down, you switch the lever, pop this off, which is so easy. Pop this off. Now you take your passenger seats and you place it so the grooves line up. Here, so it clicks. Push this button all the way in. Not once, but twice. You want it to be all the way in. So make sure this is lined up nice. Push this in. It's, there you go. You have to really knock it in. It should be below flush, so there's going to be a little indentation here. That's how you know it's really locked in. So after that's on, boom, throw your passenger pegs down, and then passenger gets on. Easy peasy. They can hold on here. Or for an extra couple hundred dollars, you can buy a backrest as well. They have two types of backrest. One's a little tiny lumbar piece. And the other backrest you can buy for the passenger is a bigger backrest that actually folds down, which is kind of nice because you can put something underneath there and bungee it or you know, use it for storage. So 
to take this off, you just push on, you get underneath it, and you push up, just like that. So don't try pushing it in, because it doesn't work. Um, and that's it, I wish there was a way, it, it just, this, this is no way possible. I wish there was a way that this back work, well, technically you could do that, just squeeze it in there. Um, yeah, you could do that. That's actually kind of cool. Um, problem is, it's just not, I'm sure k and does not recommend this, but it's actually, if you just slide it in there, just so you can have a backrest. Um, it is not on there, if you slide it in like that, it's not locked in at all. You have a risk of losing it, but that way you do have that extra backrest. Something to think about. Um, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, thank you very much for being part of Riker Rides in this whole process with me.